Welcome back, guys. Hang on, I'm trying to get my my Tokita hair. There you go. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Today we're going to do a little bit of a redirection cutter plus a flame cutter that creates a kick that is called Willow O the Wisp. To all of you King and Ashura hardcore fans out there, you definitely know this kick. Omatokita used this to defeat the creepy assassin long haired frail um, pale skin looking dude. He finalized his final blow with that kick on an advanced state, so it was pretty uh, furious. There was a lot of ferocity in that kick. And today we are going to talk about that, but first of all, I would like to break down that this kick starts with a redirection kata of a step in and a twist controlled with a torque that ends with a foot stomp. In Taekwondo, this is a very famous kick. I'm not sure, I forgot what the name is. I studied this when I was younger, but it is basically a stomp kick that uses the bottom side of your foot. So it uses flexibility, it uses explosives, but it also can be applied to every other conventional kick like a roundhouse, the conventional hook kicks, um, and also the switching roundhouse kick that looks something like this. So now you can mix and match all the redirection kata on your own with other conventional kicks but today I will blatantly explain Willow or the Wisp. So without further ado, enjoy! The first step would be understanding the redirection kata. It's a mix of flame kata too. So the redirection here would be the control torque of the spin. So after you step in with the flame kata and you turn and you look at the target where you want to go, or in this case, the target that you want to kick. And what you have to focus on, first of all, is to focusing on the spin that comes from the stability of the step in and the turn of your head. Now the torque comes from the stability of your core as you step in and you turn your feet towards the targeted desired with your eye line and your head as the target and the goal area to where you want to spot. So you have to keep your eyes on the target. Do not just spin your body, but spin in accordance towards where your head wants to go. So head first, and then your body will follow. Now what you have to um, make sure is that the balls of your feet are parallel. They aren't like a conventional boxing stance. They aren't facing forward like this. Because if you step forward, you're just walking. You want to turn, you want to spin. You want to gain momentum so you have to be sideways and as you step in and you turn your body inwards you create that motion that you can carry on towards your spin and then spot where you want to target so remember to keep your center of gravity low and be on the balls of your feet okay so sideways balls of the feet step in turn and stop spot where you want to go with your eyes not with your shoulders okay Head is where you want to go. Now the heel kick or the bottom foot kick here is taken from Taekwondo as I've studied when I was younger. Um, many fighters or maybe martial artists translate this as a heel kick but in here I would just focus it on as the bottom foot kick. So as you drag in your feet from behind up, you push and stomp the ground with the bottoms of your feet. Let's say with the arch of the foot. With the arch of the foot, you push and stomp down. So you lift and stomp down. I try to imagine that you are trying to stomp a balloon and you want it to burst on the floor. So you want to stomp it with the, the bottom of your foot instead of the heel because it is a lot more surface area. Now what you want to do when you swing your leg up is to not swing it from the outside in it is so much more heavier 
you don't do that what you need to do is just lift and let the rest carries on through so you lift and then stomp you lift and stomp you lift to the center and then stomp outwards from the center that is what you need to focus not swinging your foot in not jumping your knee up or, or not flexing your knee up and make sure to get more reach you should flex your foot downward instead of using the heel now by practice the heel kick will look like this it is sharp it is quick it is stable it really depends on what kind of aesthetic and emphasis that you want to put on it but at the end of the day it's about lifting your leg as high as you can and then stomping it as fast as you can now in order to get that stretch try this exercise for size so your hind leg will be bent and your front leg will be straight and try to kiss your knee I know it's hard try to touch your your your, your foot first as you bend your hip flexors and you reach out to the ground try to kiss your knee on the way and then that is where you get all the flexibility to stomp higher and to reach out further and to gain a lot more momentum and force to hit the ground ideally or aesthetically so again bend the hind leg straighten the kicking leg and then bend your hip flexors and touch your foot and when you can touch your foot try to kiss your knees breathe in and breathe out as you stretch down and kiss it it's as if you are bowing towards your kneecaps now remember to try and feel the motion of you lifting your leg and dropping it at the same time and try to make sure that as you lift and drop it is in the same target as your eye line because when you're spinning it will be a lot lot more tricky especially if you're not experienced try to master both sides so your nervous system will understand and can calibrate when or where to stomp and land and now next would be incorporating the two you want to spin inwards lift your leg and stomp okay again as you spin inwards you turn eye line see your target and stomp okay one more time fight stance step forward look where you want and stomp forward okay now the full trajectory would be like so now you need a lot of balance in this you need a lot of glute strength and a lot of hip flexor strength to lift up the legs but you need to train by repetition here try to focus on your eyes and lift your leg as you reach the target so step forward look where you want to kick as you step in look and lift your legs make sure the kick is the stomping that you emphasize. you don't have to try to lift it too hard just try to focus on lifting it and landing the leg first and control the spin now there are many ways to do willow or the wisp but one of them would be definitely being able to do it as you move forward as you step forward and create a homogeneous smooth flow with both left and right of the leg now there is another way to make it a lot more smoother and a lot more let's say fur uh, furious or fast and stompy like you know explosive the way you do it is the kicking leg should land behind the stance so it becomes another setup for the next launch now the end product will be something like this enjoy And there you have it guys, Willow or the Wisp, cool isn't it? Well, thank you guys for watching, thank you for all the support, thank you for all the suggestions and these videos take a lot of energy and I do this between my work and it would be very great and uh, supportive for you guys to contribute and support my Patreon which I will put in the link in the description down below. Support the channel, 
give me more ideas for the content so we can keep on updating and um, entertain and we can give you a lot more content uh, for you from you for our further entertainment and also it's fun for me to do it's sports for me it's a workout for me and it, and it, it's it's martial artist therapy for me i really enjoy it so support my patreon link in the description down below and i'll see you guys soon